let us discuss the topic on fatty liver first let us see the role of liver in fat metabolism liver plays an important role in the metabolism of all types of lipids it secretes bile acids and bile salts which are essential for digestion and absorption of fats liver is the site of synthesis of fatty acids even from acetate units and carbohydrates synthesis and breakdown of phospholipids lipoproteins and cholesterol also takes place in the liver lipids mobilized from diet and deposits such as adipose tissue are oxidized in the liver to provide energy necessary changes such as saturation desaturation lengthening and shortening of fatty acids takes place in the liver ketone bodies are also formed in the liver little amount of fat less than 5% is stored in the kufar cells of liver mainly in the form of neutral fat phospholipids and little amount of cholesterol in fatty liver droplets of triglycerides are found in the entire cytoplasm of hepatic cells this causes impairment in metabolic functions of liver fatty liver is associated with fibrotic changes and cirrhosis this picture shows the healthy liver in comparison with that of a fatty liver we can see the liver nodules and fatty deposits in the right picture causes of fatty liver the main causes of fatty liver are carbohydrate deprivation hepatotoxic agents excess cholesterol feeding and deficiency of lipotrophic factor carbohydrate deprivation in cases of diabetes mellitus and starvation glucose is not available in the cells for energy production so fats are mobilized from deposits and oxidized in the liver to yield energy lipoproteins from extra hepatic tissues are hydrolyzed by lipoprotein lipase thus increasing the fatty acids in blood free fatty acids are taken away from fat deposits to through the blood to the liver these free fatty acids are esterified and stored in the liver next hepatotoxic agents prolonged administration of certain hepatotoxic agents like arsenic chloroform carbon tetrachloride and phosphorus results in accumulation of fat in the liver toxins from bacteria and virus also lead to fatty liver chronic alcohol intake is also one of the causes for fatty liver alcoholism and high fat diet are associated with increased mobilization of fatty acids and causes fatty liver alcohol also inhibits fatty acid oxidation and promotes fat synthesis and its deposition excess calorie intake either in the form of carbohydrates or fats are deposited as fats obesity may be accompanied by fatty liver lipotropic factors these are substances required for the normal mobilization of fat from liver the deficiency of these factors may result in fatty liver some of the important lipotropic factors are choline betaine methionine and inositol folic acid vitamin b12 glycine and serine also serve as lipotropic factors action of these lipotropic factors choline and inositol are components of phospholipids and are required for their synthesis the other lipotropic factors are concerned with transmethylation reactions and ultimately the synthesis of choline severe protein deficiency such as kwashiorkor causes fatty liver pyridoxine and pantothenic acid deficiency also impairs lipoprotein formation deficiency of vitamin e is associated with fatty liver selenium acts as a as protective in nature certain hormones like acth that is adrenocorticotropic hormone insulin thyroid hormones adrenocorticoids promote deposition of fat in liver non alcoholic fatty liver disease and non alcoholic steatohepatitis non alcoholic fatty liver disease is the most common liver disease where fat is accumulated in hepatocytes high fat diet and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus are the most common causes as the disease progresses inflammatory reaction occurs which is termed as non alcoholic steatohepatitis this picture shows the different types of liver disorders that is steatosis nash and cirrhosis fatty liver progresses to cirrhosis fat 
molecules infiltrate the cytoplasm of the cell. These are seen as fat droplets in the cytoplasm. So the nucleus is pushed to a side of the cell. Ultimately, the hepatic cell is lias. As a healing process, fibrous tissue is laid down causing fibrosis and fibrosis of liver or cirrhosis. Diet for the prevention of fatty liver. Following regular physical exercise and a healthy diet are the primary steps to deal with a fatty liver. Smaller meals are taken at short intervals, avoiding foods that are rich in carbohydrates and fats. Diets rich in protein, essential fatty acids, vitamin E and selenium are protective against fatty liver. Lots of vegetables, fruits and whole grains can be included in the diet. According to Ayurveda, fatty meat, fried and spicy foods tend to produce heat and overstimulation and so such foods should be avoided by people with fatty liver. Instead, consume non-acidic fruits such as pomegranates, melons, pears and berries. Vegetables can be steamed and served with a small amount of ghee. Alcohol intake and smoking should be completely avoided. Thank you and have a healthy liver.